Good morning. It is a foggy morning, so I'm not in a huge hurry to get out on the water right now. I wanted a little bit more daylight to uh, to come, but I do have the hubby with me, and uh, we're gonna get out on the water, try to go after some redfish, sheephead, and speckled trout. But I gotta stop by one of my favorite places first, and um, I need to pick up something, see if they have it. So stay tuned, we'll get out on the water, and uh, let's get some fishing. Yeah, I had to pick me up some. It's starting, the water's starting to get pretty cold. And uh, I need some deck boots for kayaking so I don't get soaking wet feet. So, but hey, we're going to get out on the water. Boom, let's go. I ain't playing around today. Well, it doesn't work on my paddles. Not right side up, does it? What is going on, everybody? We are back on the water again. I had to stop by JM Tackle and get me some waterproof boots. And guess what? My feet are dry. But anyway, we are going to go out after some sheep's head, some redfish, speckled trout, and whatever else may bite. I have some live shrimp, and I have some filler crabs, and a plethora of artificial baits. So I'm going to get the Mirage Drive and my rudder down and uh, get out to our fishing spot. Check out this fog. There's the sun. It's like 7.30 or 8 a.m. All right, I made it. And I am gonna toss up here, see if I can get a nice juicy red fish. All right. And if you're watching any of my other videos, you'll see I love using a popping cork. You can use it year round, it doesn't have to be warm for you to have to use it. You just gotta know where the fish are. But the pop cork will help you find them. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a better. What is it, red? There we go. Swimming towards me. I ain't swimming towards me quick. Oh, hold on. Is that a catfish? No. Oh, come here. Come here. No, that's a redfish. Okay. There we go. He isn't a keeper, but pretty red. Pretty red. Alrighty. Got a real pretty redfish. He's not a keeper, he's pretty small. So I'm gonna toss him back green. Yeah, ready? There you go. Oh, there's one. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, came off. Dang, dude, I threw right on top of him and he came off. Shoot. I need to get another shrimp on. Sitting there waiting. Waiting on it. Let's see if I can do that again. Okay, let's see if I can do that again. He was right here. Right there. He took it down as soon as I cast it in. And I'm just sitting there playing with it. Like, I'm like, where'd my bobber go? Dang it. There we go. Mm. There we go. Got another one. <laughs> oh, dude, he is traveling the bank. That's a good one. <laughs> dude, that sucker just went all the way across. Mm. It's a good fish. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Okay. Okay. It just got serious. Oh, man. Mm. It's a good red fish. Oh, dude. There we go. Gotta keep it keeps on wanting to swim towards me. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. Oh, come here. Come here. Pretty redfish. Come here. 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 Hey, quit swimming towards me. Hey, he's not giving up. 
Come here. 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 Don't lose you. Come here. Oh. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. That is awesome. Heck yeah, dude. Oh. Okay. Oh, regain my composure. But dang. Is that not a pretty, pretty, pretty redfish? Look how big he is. I'm going to keep him. Man, that's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Okay. Tip of the nose to the tail. He is a 22 inch redfish, so I am keeping him. Setting on a beautiful, beautiful fish. Just caught this really beautiful redfish on a live shrimp. And uh, he fought me pretty hard. I hope I got all that on camera. But I am keeping fish today. In the state of Alabama, you're allowed to keep three redfish. Uh, they can all be slot reds, or you can keep one oversized. I don't keep the oversized ones. He is a 22 inch fish, so he is within the slot. 16 to 26 inches is the slot for Alabama. So I'm gonna throw him in the cooler. Alrighty, it is a slow day after that fog moved out. Uh, at least where I'm at, the fog's moved out. It looks like it's still over the beach. But uh, man, that bite shut down quick. So I'm gonna head back to the ramp. I'm gonna take this fish home, clean it, cook it, and uh, for lunch, because I'm pretty hungry. Done a lot of peddling today. All right, what is going on everybody? I am back home. So I haven't done this before on video. Um, I normally don't show a whole bunch of fish cleaning stuff, but uh, today I am, and I did keep that beautiful 22 inch redfish. So we're gonna clean him, and then we're gonna fry him out here. So I can't wait, cause I'm pretty hungry. So once you clean most of the slime off, I'm gonna get to cutting. I'm gonna come behind the gill plate. Come down. All right, just be careful with your knife. Try to avoid cutting toward you as much as possible. Sometimes it's unavoidable. And then I'm gonna come off the back here. Work my way up. Redfish have like a zipper. And if you can find that zipper, you can go all the way up on that fish <laughs> all right now i am going to come along the backbone just along the bone just feeling the bones with my knife you don't want to cut to the other side i'm gonna come down now i don't eat the belly meat they have a big rib cage sheep said are notorious for a huge rib cage the redfish isn't too bad, but I'll just fillet the meat right off the rib cage. So come on down. And then. I'm not gonna cut the tail completely off. Okay, now on this redfish, I didn't cut the tail completely off. I left the fillet on. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna fillet the meat off the skin. There we go, there's one redfish fillet beautiful meat it's flaky now there are some bones right here little bitty pin bones that i'll normally go through and we'll get out It'll be crab bait you just feel for them i cut that out and i'll throw that in the crab trap with the carcass now i am going to fry this so but he doesn't have that much red meat that's awesome that's why i like these sizes right here slot redfish not much red meat which not much fishy taste it tastes real good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come through cut just friable pieces so there's one piece no bones or nothing it's ready to eat and then i'm going to come through here just right through the middle and i'm going to cut that sliver of red meat out there's another piece ready to fry and then we'll come on this other side here 
and cut that piece out as well. All right, so that's for one fillet of 22 inch redfish. Now you can get more meat off this if you want, like around the rib cage and that belly meat. The throat meat on redfish is really good, but I'm just gonna fry these pieces up. Now I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna rinse that off, throw it in my bowl. Rinse these off. Now I'm gonna set this on ice and clean up, go put this bait in the crab trap and uh, get ready to cook this food. All right, I am gonna toss this redfish carcass in my crab trap. Okay, now that we got our redfish cleaned and filleted up, we are going to fry it. So I'll go over the ingredients list real quick get the grease going and uh, get to cooking. Man, that's a beautiful boat right there. Beautiful boat. All right, but anyway, so what I have is I have deep fryer, electric deep fryer, pretty easy. You can control your temperature right here. I'm gonna be uh, bringing it up to 350 degrees. Now this is some of my favorite stuff. This is the Zatarain's fish fry in the crispy Southern. Now I do a little twist to it. I add some, the Rid Tony's Chacheries, original um, and I'll show you what I do peanut oil you can use any oil you're comfortable with but I like peanut oil and uh, my redfish what I like to do is set the tray all the way down to the bottom and then I can fill up my grease from there all right that's enough for me and we're gonna get this going to 350 bit over all right so while that is heating up I'm gonna mix the batter now this is a dry batter i don't do an egg wash i do a dry batter and i like it and it tastes delicious and everybody that eats my fish knows that it tastes delicious so but you can do an egg wash too i've done it with an egg wash if you like egg wash it's really up to you if you like something do it but i'm just showing you the way i do it now for youtube's sake this is not blood on the table it is rust stains i have sanitized the table in my hands but uh just letting you know, that's rust stains. It is not blood. What I like to do is take my fish fry. This one's already been opened. So I'm just going to take my fish fry, pour some in, which that's enough for the amount of fish. That's actually more than enough for the amount of fish I'm cooking. Put that back up. Now this is where it goes. Because this stuff tastes good on its own. But I like to add a little bit of Cajun kick. So I'm going to take and dust it. Nothing too crazy. Someone dust it. With Tony's Trattoria, take my lid, make sure it's closed. Shake it up, get it all mixed together. Oh man. And that is ready to be dipped. So once the grease is heated up, we'll get our fish uh, battered and cooked. Now what I like to do is take my fish once it's been cleaned and just lay it out on a paper towel. So I'm gonna dry my fish fillets off with the paper towel. Okay, my light has turned off. That means the grease is ready. So what I like to do, you just, fair warning, be very careful when you're doing this, cooking in general, but especially around grease, is I like to dip my basket in the grease just to coat it, pretty much give it a nonstick coating for when I put my fish onto the basket the first time. So, I'm going to come over here, open my mix up. I did cut them into smaller pieces, pretty much like catfish nuggets. So I'm going to take the first one. Oh man, this smells so good already, just a mix. It's a dry rub for fish. It's a dry batter. So that's coated. Just get all sides. Set it on. Oh, you can hear it sizzling. That's when you know the grease is good. If you don't have a, a thermostat, you can dip just a little bit of the fish in there and if it starts sizzling that's good if it's just nothing then you need to wait a little bit more you need to get your grease a little hotter and i'm going to drop it down there we go now listen to that golden crispy now it takes about three to four minutes per batch on average um if you don't want to time it once your fish kind of start floating you after you do it a while you you kind of know when to take it out but about three to four minutes per batch 
pipes uh, at 350 uh, degree temperature. Oh yeah, these are pretty much ready. Now, we'll take them. Let's see. I'm gonna let them drain on my plate, and we're gonna batter up some more. All right, we're gonna drop these in. Oh, well, don't do that. Definitely don't try that at home. That's a high quality product right there. I'm glad I didn't get burned on camera. That would have been terrible. But hey, we're cooking. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to slide that. I guess that's a user error. I was supposed to slide that piece, that thing down. The thing, the thing that says lock with two arrows that goes down. Yeah, the thing that I didn't do. Yeah, that's why that happened. That was a user error. But hey, I'm just glad I didn't get burnt. Check this out. White flaky meat. You really cannot go wrong with the redfish. So we're gonna try the first piece. Oh man. You just gotta take a moment for that. How good that tastes. And it's so simple too. Incredibly simple. Like it's just a few ingredients. You can get as complicated as you want. And that's with anything in life. But man, is that fish tasty and it was swimming no less than two hours ago it was swimming sat on ice take care of your catch clean it up good cook it good and it will be tasty 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 does that not just look delicious well i want to thank y'all for watching this video and hanging in with me while i do some cooking but thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button down below if you have thank you i want to thank the good lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later